hi friends thanks so much for stopping by today's video is a cook and clean with me i'll be sharing a bunch of cleaning motivation i'm also sharing an easy and quick dinner recipe so if you're not sure what to make for dinner tonight keep on watching i also cannot wait for you to see my new cookware that i am so excited about but i hope you enjoy today's video and hopefully you find it motivating Before we get into the cleaning portion of today's video, I want to first share with you my new Caraway cookware set that I am, guys, I'm just so in love with this set. I'm so impressed by it so far. And thank you to Caraway for sponsoring today's video. They did send me this gorgeous cream colored cookware that I just, I cannot get enough of it. It has quickly become my new favorite go-to cookware. And if you're not familiar with Caraway, they make ceramic nonstick, non-toxic cookware. A lot of the nonstick cookware that we're using actually releases toxins that leach onto our food and obviously can be harmful to us. So Caraway is not only nonstick, non-toxic, but also look how gorgeous their sets are. They come in multiple colors and they're just so aesthetically pleasing in the kitchen. When I received my cookware, it came so nicely packaged in recycled packaging. It includes four pans and three lids. The three lids are interchangeable amongst the pans. The pans include a saucepan, saute pan, a fry pan, and a Dutch oven. And a nice feature about these pans is they can also be used in the oven. They can withstand heat up to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. Another nice feature is the pan racks. These pan dividers are just so convenient. They actually are magnetic, so you can and, you know they're not gonna separate I thought that was such a nice feature they also come with a lid holder which is so nice for organizing those lids because as we all know those lids can just kind of look so sloppy and take up so much space in our cupboards but this nice little lid holder you can secure it with these sticky hooks that it comes with you can secure it to your cupboard door if you have a tall enough cupboard door but in my case my doors weren't tall enough so I actually secured it to the interior side of the cabinet underneath my stove top I did have enough space um, in that cabinet area and it worked perfectly with ceramic cookware, you do have to take special care of it. And I love that Caraway includes a booklet explaining just the proper steps to care for your set. Now, when I received mine, I could not wait to use it. I've been using it for about a week now, and I am just very impressed by it. I tested it out. The first two things I cooked on it were scrambled eggs and pancakes. And I really kind of left the pancake and the scrambled egg on there a little bit longer to see if it would actually, you know, if it overcooked, would it stick to the cookware? Cookware, but the cookware performed beautifully there was no sticking I was really impressed and I also love how when you cook you can tell that the heat is just evenly distributed in fact even after I turned off the stove top burner the food actually remained warm because the pat the pot the pans had retained their heat for longer than my other pans that I was using so I was really impressed by that it's just such a gorgeous cooker set. In fact, I have mine displayed out on my countertop because it's just too pretty to keep hidden in a cupboard. But also it just has made it so easily accessible and I've just been having so much fun cooking. I literally have been cooking so much more since I've been using this cookware and I just cannot wait to see how it performs long term. But if you are interested in look checking them out, I'll have a link to their website. Also within that link is a 10% off discount. So if you are interested in possibly purchasing a set from them, definitely make use of that link because it only is good for two weeks. Full transparency, that is an affiliate link, so I will receive a small commission on any sales made from that link. So if you do decide to purchase the set through that link, I just greatly appreciate it and I just wanted to disclose that to you. But again, all of their information will be linked down below. Now to get some cleaning done. And whenever I'm on a tight schedule, I love making a list, a checklist of specific cleaning tasks to get done. So on this particular day, I wanted to do more maintenance cleaning. I had run some errands in the morning and I was running kind of low on time before the kids got home from school. So I wanted to get as much done as I could before they got home. So specifically, I wanted to straighten up the laundry room a bit. As you see, it was getting cluttered. I decided to move that 
that dog dryer um, that if you missed that video, I'll have that linked above, but that dog dryer, I've used it several times since I received it and I'm just really loving it. So efficient, but it was kind of in the way. So I didn't know where to put it. I want to keep it in the laundry room and I decided to just stick it under the tub, the laundry room tub, just so it was out of the way, but yet still accessible. And then I'm just going to do some more sprucing up, cleaning up the tops of the washer and dryer. And then that little bin that I have on top of the, the dryer is actually stuff for my dog that I like to have easy access to. Their towels, their, um, their squeaky toys, which they have too many of those. Um, so I just like having that easily accessible. One day I would love to revamp and, you know, re redo our laundry room and just have it more um, efficient when it comes to storage. Um, so maybe one day you'll see a video of me redoing my laundry room, but until then, this is what I have to work with. So now I'm just going to fold some laundry, put those clothes away, and then I will move on to washing those windows you see behind me. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but I love washing my windows with a microfiber cloth. I have just learned from experience that the microfiber cloths tend to work the best. I don't get any streaks using the microfiber cloth, but I just thought I'd mention that again. And I know I say this a lot too. If you have any cleaning tips that you would like to share, definitely leave those down in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments and I know others do as well. So again, don't be shy. I know I say that a lot, but leave a comment down below. We can learn so much from each other. And I have to just say what a beautiful day this particular day was. It was just the perfect weather for cleaning windows. two little shadows that follow me wherever I go. I just love them, but they were not having any of the cleaning. They would rather me be sleeping or playing with them. So moving on to this new vacuum that I recently purchased from Costco, I have to tell you guys about this because I am loving this vacuum. I am so impressed with Shark vacuums. I currently own one, but I, it seems like ever since I mentioned it in my last video about how surprised and impressed I am that it's lasted for seven years, literally that same week, it developed a kind of rubbery smell to it. And it seemed like the suction wasn't as great. So it still works, but not as good as it was. So I decided that I'm going to use that particular vacuum in my basement and just keep it stored for our basement area. So I have access to a vacuum down there and this new one I'm going to use in the main areas of my house. This one is corded, but I do so much vacuuming that I actually need a vacuum that can hold a lot of, you know, dog fur and dust and dirt. So 
I don't mind that it's corded. Eventually I would like to have a stick vacuum along with this vacuum, but that will be down the road. For now, I'm really happy with this vacuum. I love it. It has phenomenal suction. I love the functionality of the attachments. Um, and it's so lightweight. It's perfect for carrying up and down the steps. It's so much lighter even than my previous shark vacuum. So I highly recommend this if you're interested. I'll have a link to the Costco one as well as one on Amazon in case you're interested in checking it out. But I'm going to go ahead and finish vacuuming the, this staircase. I also had to vacuum the treads as you saw. They just collect so much dog fur and I'm embarrassed to say, but it had actually been two weeks since I had vacuumed my steps, so they desperately needed it. But once I wrap up the vacuuming of the steps, I'm gonna move on to my family room, do some straightening and dusting in that room. I cannot get over all the dust that this vacuum collected. This is just from my staircase. I am, I don't know whether to be like impressed or embarrassed that this much dust was in my carpet. Like I said, it had been two weeks since I vacuumed the steps, but honestly, that's a lot of dirt and fur that was sitting in my carpet. So definitely impressed by this vacuum, but I'm just going to go over the treads with a Swiffer duster just to get any remaining dust that might be sitting there and moving on to my family room. So in this space, I'm going to be fluffing all the pillows. So if you need pillow fluffing motivation, keep on watching, but also I'm going to be dusting and my method for dusting is to first go over all of the hard surfaces with a Swiffer duster just to collect all that dust. And then I like to go over it with a little bit of um, multi-surface cleaner and a microfiber cloth just to get any residual dust that might still be sitting there.
you the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Moving right along to my kitchen. And if you are still watching at this point in the video, I want to say thank you so very much. I just appreciate you more than you know. And I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below, simply say hello, or let me know what you're up to today. But in the kitchen, I'm going to be dusting, putting some dirty dishes in the dishwasher, cleaning the countertops, and then finally mopping. So a lot of more, a lot more cleaning motivation to come. We don't need no more. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any to clean my garbage disposal, I'm using baking soda and white vinegar. What I do is put a bunch of baking soda, just pour it right down into the disposal, and then I follow up by pouring in some white vinegar, and I let that sit for a while. But this is a great technique to use to get rid of any lingering, smelly food odors that sometimes develop. Well, they definitely will develop in your garbage disposal if you don't clean it, but this does the trick. Now that the countertops are all cleaned, my kitchen is dusted, I'm moving on to vacuuming and then I will follow up with mopping my floors. And to mop my floors, I always use hot water and a little bit of pine salt. I love that formula. It seems to do a great job of cleaning my wood floors. I also use the O Cedar Spin Mop. I love this spin mop. It's so convenient and effective. But keep on watching, I'm not done just yet. Once I finish up mopping the kitchen, I'm gonna share with you that dinner recipe that I think you're really gonna like. Now for that dinner recipe, and this is beyond simple. This is a taco skillet, and maybe some of you already do this, but really the only ingredients you need are your beef, you can put corn, tomatoes, black beans, whatever you wanna fill it with. I also will be adding cheddar cheese or any cheese of your choice, some green onions and guacamole. Can't forget the guacamole. But I'm gonna start out by first boiling some rice, I'm gonna cook the rice and while the rice is cooking, I'm gonna start the meat. So once the meat is cooked, I'm just adding some taco seasoning, three quarters cup of water, and then I'm going to mix in the rice and all of the other ingredients, the corn, black beans, and some tomatoes with green, uh, green chilies that are already diced. And once I have all of those ingredients together, I'm gonna mix it and let that cook for about seven minutes. Finally, I'm gonna top it with some cheese and some green onions and it's ready to eat. I like to eat mine with some chips, some salad, and of course guacamole, but you could also make a taco out of this if you wanted to, but I hope you will give this a try. If you do, let me know how it turned out. I'll have the recipe listed down below, along with a link to the Caraway website. Definitely take advantage of the 10% discount if you are interested in checking them out. But thank you to Caraway 
for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay tuned for my next one and have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Take care. Thank you.